what are the five crazy invention in plastic that potentially give you more profits? If you're a designer, manufacturer who intends to bring down your cost of products, go through the list if there's something that you may miss. Welcome to my weekly video channel. Hi, my name is Samantha, second generation owner of Glasgow Polymer Syndrome Raha. We are a one-stop plastic injection molding solution center in Malaysia, which includes design, tooling, manufacturing, and maybe assembly. Let's start with number five. Are you aware that plastic can be made or turned into silver or metallic color using a method called electroplating or vacuum combing? It has the benefits of giving it a super shiny look like steel and also strengthening the plastic parts. After the plastic is injected, we put them through a secondary process to make it really really shiny. Sometimes if it is done tastefully, a few lines of plastics would give an entire part a posh look. It could also give you a vintage feel if you chrome it in gold. Have a look for yourself and one of the items that you may not be aware that is chrome is our shower head. In my previous case studies videos, the link is right here. If you notice, our shower head is light and it is chrome to achieve the same effect like other heavy stainless steel. A perfect way to make extra profits. And you may ask Samantha, how do I know if it is steel or plastic? If you can hold it, it's lighter, that's definitely plastic. If you can't hold it, it's pretty hard to tell. One more point why manufacturer would chrome it instead. Imagine dropping your shower head on your toe. If it's really made of stainless steel. Ouch, right? Then come number four, similar to making it look silver, gold, bronze in colour. We can also make our plastic super colourful by using two methods. The cheaper method is to make a master batch, colour dye in layman terms, compound and even tone plastic to make your plastic colourful. One of the few very cool manufacturers who did wonderful in colouring plastic is Dyson. Do you remember that glossy purple on the vacuum? Yes, it is made of plastic. Can you tell how many parts on Dyson vacuum is actually made of plastic? And do you know this is made in Malaysia? Interestingly, many buyers didn't know that Malaysia is a great country when it comes to plastic technology. And if you talk about making profits through this invention, yeah, you skip the expensive process of spraying it and all colors can go to any type of plastic. Now, we can even make marble soles, metallic bits, to spice up your plastic and you don't have to pay for expensive process such as spray paint, holographic labeling, press and etc. Next, number three. I think another crazy thing about plastic can do is achieving a rubbery like texture. And you'll be surprised most O-rings, washer, your eraser, shoes are made of plastic. It provides great bumping effect on playgrounds and also gives you this elasticity on your earpiece. In plastic injection world, there are few types of rubbery products. The TPE, thermoplastic elastomer, LSR, liquid silicone rubber, and not forgetting our old friend EVA, and soft PVCs. They're all around us like milk teats, are usually made of silicones. Your yoga mat is TPE, and some of the shoe sole is made of EVA. And another one thing that is made out of rubber is your rubber holes which you thought that it's going to be made out of rubber, but instead it's not, it's actually made out of PVC. If you're a designer, where do you want to put in your rubbery texture? Next, number two, antibacterial in plastic. As crazy as it may sound, it is around in the market for quite some time. But the recent COVID-19 pandemic has bring this feature back alive. One of the biggest design in 2020 for us is helping no bad bidet create its first antibacterial bidet. Hmm, you may think, why do I want an antibacterial bidet? That's because the bathroom is the most dirtiest place with the most potent bacteria sitting and living on our bidet. What's more, bidet is used often when people finish their, uh, hmm, big business and you want to make sure bacteria does not sit on it. So, how does antibacterial plastic works? The 
entire plastic is injected with some nicely blend of silver ions that help kills the membrane of the bacteria. Some even said it's virus, but let's not overclaim. We believe it will happen, but as of now, let's just stick to antibacterial. So when it comes to antibacterial, it works also for mold and fungus. And this additive is usually added to our toothbrush because we do not want bacteria to sit on your bristle, handle, and you may find some toothbrush doesn't mold or has fungus stains, thanks to antibacterial. Can you think where else can we use antibacterial additive? If you're interested to create a product that fights off bacteria, mold and fungus, welcome to talk to us. Drum roll. And number one, I think this saved you big money, big, big money. It's the fact that plastic could replace steel. This is the biggest, most craziest invention ever. Some plastic could perform as close to steel in being able to withstand heat, as hard and as strong as steel. And many, many items nowadays are getting lighter. Why? It's because manufacturers and designers, engineers are working hard to replace metals with plastics. It can be small as screw or bolts or to the big part in our automotive. Our car bumper is one of them. It is made out of plastics. According to the American Chemistry Council, modern innovations means Today, plastics makes up to 50% of a vehicle volume, but only about 10% of its weight. That means better fuel consumption, better lift, and faster car. Can you imagine replacing parts in a production line or parts in a products that are used to be heavy like electrical appliances and trains? That just give us better energy saving, hence lowering the cost in many areas. If you have any ideas in replacing some parts in your products from metal to plastics, talk to your supplier or us. We'll be happy to help. Can you think of what changes from metal to plastics or conventionally what were not plastic and now they are all made of plastics? I would love to know. If you like my video, don't forget to like and click on the subscription buttons, turn on the notification bell to get more weekly updates on manufacturing tips, design tips, and some classic injection insider tricks for you to create excellent products that works as a solution for mankind. See you next week and goodbye.